Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Loha here with a new topic of CCNA. In this session, we are going to start our a new topic and that is NET. So, what is NET? NET is a method of translating one IP address to another IP address. But uh, why we need to translate our IP address one to another? Uh, before understanding that, I would like to give you a brief discussion about IP address. There are two type of IP address we use in our local area network as well as in internet like uh, public address and private address. So, what is private address? Private address is the IP address which is used by any organization internally and which for which uh, for using we do not have to pay anyone uh, that is freely available for us to create our local area network. As you can see here, I have given some range here like uh, if we are using class A network in our internal network that is 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 to 10.255.255.255 slash 8 is a private IP range which uh, we can use freely in our internal network as well as for class B 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255 slash 16 is, is the freely available private IP address and for class C 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255 slash 24 is the private IP address range which uh, uh, you, we can use in our internal network to create our LAN computer or we can configure our server with this. But uh, when we are connecting with this internet, we need some public IP address because a private address cannot send any IP request to the internet using private IP address. So, uh, we need uh, some public IP address where the public IP address is the IP which we have to uh, purchase or we have to lease from our local ISP server and we will have to pay something for that. And a public IP address is used to forward the packet over the internet to one network to another network. In our previous video, we have configured a, a basic lab setup here where we used uh, 192.168.168.0 which is private IP address range and even here 192.168.10.0 slash 24 we used to create our local area network and 192.168.0.0 slash 24 which is for the remote branch of our organization. But uh, uh, this is in real world this is not possible to send any packet using this IP address to directly directly to this server using ISP because your internal IP address or private IP address cannot uh, forward it to the internet uh, using this any of this range. So, we will have to get some registered IP address or public IP address from local ISP server so that our remote computers can access our server. As you can see here, we have configured our uh, in this scenario, we have configured this router as a local ISP server where our internal router is getting IP address. Like if we are using 11.9.0.0 slash 24, 28, sorry, then all the IP address which is 11.9.0.1 and 11.9.0.2, a part of that, this IP address starts from 11.9.0.3456789910. Uh, 11, 12, 13 and 14 is now free here for any of this network. So, what we have to do here is first of all there are three type of net we can configure with uh, our router. First one is static net. Static net is a method of translating a private address to public address manually one by one. So, each private IP address will require a fixed public IP address and we will have to configure one by one manually as the static method says and another one is dynamic net which will translate a range of private address over a range of public IP address. So, we are not going to define one by one, we will define a range of public address to translate for a range of private address and another one is PAT, PAT is also called overloading method of translation where a multiple number of IP address will be translated within a single registered IP address. So, in it, this is it, this depends on case which kind of translation we required like uh, if we are configuring our server and the server is not going to change its IP, uh, IP address regularly. So, we will have to define a fixed registered IP address for the server so that uh, remote computers can access that server every time. And in, the, in case of dynamic thing, if you uh, we uh, want to share the traffic of uh, uh, traffic of uh, internet 
uh, we can use dynamic net and further if we have a we have a single number of ip address or we are in the branch network and we just have to connect our server from remote network we do not have uh, like uh, in this network we do not have any server but if we, we want to configure our uh, network to access this server using public ip address then one ip address will be enough to connect this server and that will be configured here and so this isp server will assign a single ip address for this interface and entire network will be translated within a single ip address and that single ip address will be uh, forwarded to the server to get a, uh, to get or to request any kind of service and let's proceed for the practical here so first of all i'll show you how to configure static net and how it is applicable in our uh, in network environment we are using our previous lab setup here and i have removed all the acl rule we have in, uh, we have implemented in our previous video like so access list there is nothing and if you want to verify whether any net is already there or if any net is already configured there you can use so ip net translation if you have uh, if the router is having any configuration earlier it will show you but uh, there is no answer it means there is no uh, no translation rule has set in this router so let's start with the static net here in this session we are going to see how to configure static net and the static net says that each private ip address will be manually translated within each public ip address in this situation we have a we have this one th this is the isp server and have given our uh, uh, given some ip range like 11.9.0.0 slash 28 where we are getting 14 number of hosts and first one is used by the serial interface of router isp router and another one is used by the uh, our local router that is 11.9.0.2 and a part of that for uh, starts from 3 to 14 is now free here and we can manually translate our servers private IP address into public address, public address so that remote computers can access our server using public IP address. So let us start with the practical session here as you can see here there is no any translation rule uh, uh, we have configured earlier. So we are going to start a fresh uh, translation method. So uh, configure terminal first of all you will have to enable your router interface you are going to configure uh, your NAT configuration in this router. So first of all, you will have to enable your interface for the net. So what command we use to enable your interface like uh, configure ter terminal and interface serial 0 by 0 will be IP net outside. It, uh, this interface will be outside interface where we are going to translate. And other one is exit interface serial 0 by 0 whatever request sorry fast ethernet interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 is our internal ip address which is having our internal ip address so ip net this one is inside network so we'll have to define which uh, interface is connected with inside network and which is from uh, for uh, which is directly connected with the internet or outside network so first of all you will have to enable both interface for inside and outside interface in this situation we have uh, the outside interface is serial 0 by 0 and inside network which is having uh, private ip address that is fast ethernet 0 by 0 so we have used our command to enable net for the interface like see in serial 0 by 0 we have defined that this one is the outside interface and for fast ethernet 0 by 0 that is the inside interface so what next we have to do here is we are going to configure static net and what ip address we have as a public ip address as you can see here uh, here is the ip address 11.9.0.0 slash 28 is the ip range given by our local isp server so we uh, and we have already used one and two ip address so the public ip address now we have available uh, is 11.9.0.3 to 11.9.0.14 so what we have to do here is we'll have to configure net now ip net inside source static this is the command to configure 
uh, static net ip net inside source static so 192. sorry 192.168.168.2 which is the dns server's ip address will be translated to 192. oh sorry uh, 11.9.0.3 which is the first available ip address after using 1 and 2 so first one is that and the second one is for web server that is 192.168.168.3 is the web server which we will have to translate for uh, ip address 11.9.0.4 and further for ftp server we have uh, ftp server an ftp server for with the ip address 4 and that ip address will be 5 the registered ip address or the public ip address will be 5 so we have configured our static net for this uh, three server and let's see how does it looks like so if you want to verify your translation just uh, use command so ip net translation and you'll see that inside global it means our in our router in our local router the global address is this one that is 11.9.0.3 11.9.0.4 and 11.9.0.5 and inside local address which is the private address that is 192.168.168.2 and this address will be translated to this this address will be translated to this and this address will be translated to this so now check it out whether it's working so what we have here like if we have a server 192.168.168.0.3 that was the ip address of our web server so let's verify if the net is configuring like uh, for to access our web server this is the ip address of web server we'll have to access a web server through the internet using this ip address because this IP address will not be accessible through the internet. So all the internet user or remote user will use this uh, IP address to access your web server. Let's verify it 11.9.0.4. So let's verify it whether we are getting our web service 11.9.0.4 11.9.0 as you can see here I am getting our web server using this IP at this IP address which is the public IP address given by the isp server so now in our previous video we have configured our dns server as a, a, a looks like link but this is not practically possible so we'll have to configure our dns server like 11.9.0.3 which is the public ip address of your dns server so now when this server is going to access your uh, access any website using name this uh, the request your web request will be uh, will be trans uh, will be moved through this IP address will move through this IP address and that will try to access your server using uh, 11 IP address and that will be till here and further your router will translate this uh, IP address 11.9.0.3 request to 192.168.168.3 and that will be forwarded inside and further when when the router uh, when your dns server will reply uh, the query that will be through 192.168.168.3 and further that address will be translated again to 11.9.0.3 uh, and that three address will move through the internet and further it will deliver the request so let's verify it how to uh, use our D as you can see here i have configured our dns server as 11.9.0.3 which is the public ip address out of our dns server uh, and server is having some private ip address inside so let's verify if we are getting our web server here www.study.com we have configured earlier i am not getting web, si web server because this uh, web server is not forwarding packet to that uh, registered IP address of web server so as you can see here uh, study.com record is 192.168.168.3 and that is not uh, that is a private IP address so the request is not forwarding to this so what we have to do here is we'll have to define that uh, 11.9.0.4 is also the address of our web server 3 4 so what now 
I have to verify whether I am accessing our web server using name www.study.com and this must be forwarded packet to this. So as you can see here, I am accessing web server using IP address 11.9.0.4 and with the name www.study.com and we are getting our web page here. So this is the practical environment we use in our network and to verify whether you are, your NAT is working properly, you can use show IP NAT, you will get a very detailed information about that, I show IP NAT translation and now you can see here that the request from outside global, we have not configured uh, any NAT at this side that is why that is why the source address of outside global it means the uh, public IP address of remote network is 192.168.0.2 and private address or outside local address is also 192.168.0.2 and this is sending request to inside global that is this one using 53 that was the DNS request and further that was translated to 192.168.2 using 53 port which, which is uh, the default port of your DNS server and that is a UDP protocol and further your DNS forwarded uh, forwarded your request to HTTP protocol and that was from the same source using same a uh, private address using same public address and that was for 192. Uh, sorry 11.9.0.4 for at port and that was from TCP and further you got uh, your website or web page here. So you can easily verify whether your, uh, your, working, your NAT is working very properly and further you can use here so IP NAT statics statics command to verify total translation is this much and that is dynamic and extended outside serial inside is fast ethernet and hits is 31 misses is this one this one misses and expiry translation is nothing and dynamic mapping so if you want to enable the log like uh, debug so debug ip net if you enable your debugging using command debug ip net Whenever you are trying to access your web server like a web server or anything like I am going to ping the server like ping 11.9.0.3 which is the IP address of our DNS server. So I am going to ping this and now if you verify here that the netting process is there like IP address 192.168.0.2 which is the IP address of this computer destinated to D for the source destination 11.9.0.3 and that was a further tra uh, translated to 192.168.168.2 so this is the method of translation you can easily verify it so ip net is so ip net translation you can verify it so ip net statics you can verify it and debug debug ip net to start or on your debugging option like ip net debugging start if you enable this option whenever any remote computer try to access your server your net debug uh, will be they will be display here like whenever you are going to type there like i am doing nothing at this point but when i start pinging it will automatically show you what is happening behind and you know who is accessing your server from which IP address, uh, which source address and the source and the address is translating to which private IP address. So this is uh, a static net and what we have seen here is uh, the static net is a method of translating IP address one by one manually. Uh, in our further video, we will see how to configure dynamic net and I hope you uh, you have got a better concept about net in this session. If you like this video, keep watching for the next session and please do share and subscribe with our channel. Till next video, bye bye.